This is an OSU update with Kyle Fredrickson. I'm Jenny Carlson. Kyle, tight ends hasn't exactly been a position that the Cowboys have used much in the last couple years. In fact, if you watch a Cowboy football game and the other team throws to the tight end, you say, what's going on here? <laughs> but it looks like that might be changing. Uh, what, what have we seen that makes us believe maybe this is coming back a little bit? Well, there's a lot of different factors that go into it. But, I mean, just look at the unit itself coming into this year. You know, we talk about all the depth that the Cowboys return at, at multiple positions this year. I mean, it's as strong anywhere else as it is in the tight ends group. You've got two guys who are proven as pass catchers and blockers, uh, Blake Jarwin and Jeremy Seaton. Uh, they combined for 18 catchers. Catches and 269 yards last year. I mean, that's almost 15 yards per catch. So, you know, we're not just talking about Dinkin and Duncan and, and using these guys as checkdowns. You know, these guys have been making some pretty big plays. Uh, on top of that, you have a guy in Zach Veach who also returns. Um, you know, he spent quite a bit of time at offensive guard this year uh, with some of the shifting that the Cowboys did on their offensive line. Uh, so he provides some extra protection on the edge. And Cowboy fans might get their first taste of, of a redshirt freshman uh, in Jordan Frazier uh, out of a, a Springfield, Missouri. Missouri, uh, a high school there where, where he caught uh, 10 touchdowns as a senior uh, just a couple years ago. So a very deep unit that they return um, on top of the hiring of Jason McAdoo, uh, the Missouri State, uh, sorry, the Mont Montana State assistant uh, who comes in to take over tight ends and fullbacks. So uh, a lot of things kind of combine to, to set up for the Cowboys to use the position in ways that they really haven't in years past. Well, let's talk a little bit more about McAdoo because, uh, you know, this has gone from a position where they really were forgotten and sort of, you know, mm -hmm. folded into other positions, whether it be fullback, offensive line, to, and not having anybody coach that position. And now they have their own position coach. Right. They have their own position room. Right. I mean, this is kind of a big deal. And McAdoo seems like a, a very energetic guy when it comes to this group, too. Right, right. You know, and you were there when they introduced the coaches, and, and he didn't hide his excitement. It was pretty refreshing to see a guy who was just really like a, like a kid on Christmas, I think is the way he described it, in terms of his excitement from jumping from the big sky to the big 12. And, and you know, not, like you said, they have their own room, and it, and it really fits well in, in terms of what the Cowboys want to do. Because, you know, look at how the rush game has been the last two years. You know, the Cowboys haven't had a 1,000 yard rusher. So mm -hmm. I think when you bring in a guy like that to coach fullbacks and tight ends, it sends a message that, hey, we're really focused on being a power run team and running the ball when we have to. I think, uh, if anything, that's something that Coach Gundy has learned over the past few years that, you know, when you have that air raid system and the pieces that fit, uh, you don't really necessarily have to have a tight end. But when you play to your personnel and, and, and you have to figure out how to run the ball, you have to bring in some of those extra blockers. So uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see just how much the philosophy is going to change. I mean, we're still going to see the up-tempo system that the Cowboys are going to run. Um, but, you know, if, if they can get back to the days when they have a 1,000-yard rusher, you got to figure that's going to bode well for their success moving forward. When you got to wonder, too, recruiting. I mean, mm -hmm. if Jason McAdoo, who seems like an energetic guy, is suddenly right. out on the recruiting trail and they're going to use the tight end, what kind of talent could they get there too? I have to think that that could change the, the future of that position a little bit too. Oh, definitely. You know, and and you know, if they can get these really athletic big kids, you know, I, I talked about Jordan Frazier before. You know, he's a guy who's six five and, and and you know, I think around two fifty. So that's a very very large guy on the edge who can also catch the ball. Right. It's very dangerous. And you know, don't forget that they brought in Greg Atkins uh, to coach offensive line, just one year removed from coaching tight ends for the Buffalo Bills. So you know, him and McAdoo are going to work very closely coaching offensive line, tight. Ends. It's kind of a cohesive unit in a lot of ways. Uh, so you figure that's going to be another draw for some of these young kids to say, hey, you know, here's a guy who has NFL experience, you know, who is part of this coaching team, uh, you know, for the Cowboys. Let's not forget the Cowboys have had a good history of having good wide receiver, good tight ends. Right. So this would just fall in line and, and getting back to some of those roots. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Be sure to stay with some of the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.